After finishing a file in the eQuest Wizards, it's clear that the spaces have, well, pretty unidentifiable names, at least to any normal human. An experienced modeler knows that it's very important to have quality and easily identifiable names. But in eQuest, you have to rename the spaces, plenums too, not to mention all of the zones under the system, the plenum zones, and the space zones. In this particular case, it means doing the same thing four times, but we have a free cheat for you. Before we can get to that cheat, we have to show you how to set up your file to use that cheat, which is great because it means less work. So to get started, just go to the building shell, make sure you're in detailed mode, and I would do this, uh, you don't have to, but select the spreadsheet view. Now, you can rename your spaces only. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to give very simple names. <laughs> this is boring already. Let's fast forward. Okay, now notice I just renamed the spaces, not the plenums, and not the zones. And for demonstration purposes, we just used numerical names, which shouldn't really be done in reality. Okay, well, now you can save the file and exit out of eQuest. Here's the fun part. We go to energymodels.com. Here, we already selected the space renamer. Select Choose File and navigate to your IMP file, which is likely in your eQuest Projects folder. Select the file and click Open. Then click Rename Spaces. It will process for a very brief moment, then return your results. You'll be able to download a modified IMP file. You can just click the link, but I prefer to right click and save as, and here's why. We can select our project folder, where I am going to right click and rename the existing IMP file, thus backing it up. Then, I'm going to save the new IMP file with the name of the original .imp, basically replacing it without deleting the old file. Then, you can open up the file in eQuest, and here you see all of the plenums are given appropriate corresponding names that reflect the name that we gave the space. The zones are also renamed to accurately correspond to the spaces as well. As you can see in a file such as this, this saves quite a bit of time, but maybe more importantly, it helps with accuracy. So that's it. Please check out our other tools. Our load extractor is probably more nifty than this tool, but that's for you to decide.